Today on 3D Outdoors, we have $2,500 worth of half dollars to hunt through. Stay tuned. You can see we have three unopened boxes there and two boxes that I had to put together from halves that I picked up at miscellaneous banks because they'd only give me so many and two customer rolled halves there. So we're going to get these opened up. We'll take you along and we'll show you when we find stuff. All right, starting off with one of the boxes that I put together. Um, have a couple of customer rolled halves here. You never know what you're going to get in these. If you recall last year, I got two full rolls of silvers so excited to get these opened up see if there's anything in them but you never know they could be complete duds too so let's see what we got here I do not see any silvers in there what do we got they're all bicentennial so somebody went through their collection and dumped bicentennials um, no special ones in there, I don't think. We'll, we'll look them over, but I'll set them here. We'll get the other one opened up, see if it's the same thing. Some old wrappers, though. Probably from somebody's collection from 76. And that one is the same way. I don't see any silvers in there. And they look like all bicentennials. We'll look them over, see if we find anything. But we're going to continue on with the rest of the box. All right, box number one wrap up. I uh, got a couple interesting coins here. Got a not intended for circulation 2003, and you can see that one's kind of mucked up. So I'm going to send that back out in the wild. Won't hang on to that one. I do have an NIFC not intended for circulation. They're the lower production numbers 2007. I'll be keeping that for my collection. Very nice. Got a 1989 that somebody has punched a hole in for whatever reason. Going to set that aside. And we've got ourselves a 1973. And I don't know if you can see it. There are high, definite high points on here. It's went through something. And you'd think, well, those high points are caused by something on the back. It's not. It's smooth on the back. And it's actually a little high down here on the bottom as well. Um, that coin is kind of messed up. I don't know if that was a manufacturing defect, something wrong with the die or whatever, but I am going to hang on to that one um, just because it's unique. So on to box number two. All right, just open a roll. I see what appears to be a rim in there. You see it right there. A little off color from the rest. Let's open her up. Yeah, that looks good. 1968 so we're on the board in box number two with a silver awesome we'll keep looking all right we just pulled this one out not only is this an NIFC but you'll see the condition this is in hopefully you can pick that up there that is a 2004 proof half dollar look at that baby shine that is beautiful that is an awesome find going into the collection. All right, got a, looks like a rim right here. <clears throat> We're going to open this up together and see if it is, it looks nice and shiny. What year is that? Oh, I like that. 1964, so we've got another silver on the board. And we're still in box number two, so we're going to keep going. All right, we're wrapping up box number two. Many more to go here. But this box was way better than the others, as you saw as I was rolling in the footage there. 68 silver in pretty good condition. A 64 in phenomenal condition. That's in awesome shape. You can see the rim is shiny, not wore at all. That had to have come out of somebody's collection and go into circulation because that thing looks brand new from 1964. We have the 2008 not intended for circulation coin. And then the 2004 proof 
not intended for circulation. So there's box number two. Let's keep looking. All right, we're wrapping up box number three, and this one was the box of not intended for circulations, NIFCs. No silvers in there. 03, 04, 04, 09, 12, and a 12. And this one, this one 04 right here, if I hold it up to the camera, hopefully you can see, um, that one there looks like it was actually a proof. It's been handled way too much to be nice and shiny anymore, but it will go into the collection. On to box number three. We are into box number four and roll number three in that box. And I'm going to hold this up there. Can you see that right there? I think. I hope. We do. It's a 1968. So we have another silver. This has uh, been a really good day. Uh, let's lay this down here and we're going to keep on looking. All right, wrapping up box number four. We have that 1968 that we showed you there, silver half dollar. We have a 2007 and a 2002, not intended for circulation. And then we have a quarter. Um, yeah, we got gypped another 25 cents. I just figured it like that other other video that I actually showed when I had opened the roll. Same thing here. I um, didn't figure I'd, I'd stop the film and show you that in the roll, but there it is, an, an extra uh, shorted quarter, which I will set to a side here. On to box number five. All right, we're wrapping up our $2,500 five box half dollar hunt today on 3D Outdoors for Silver Saturday. And you'll notice that at the end of the video I didn't do an update for box five because box five was a dud, had nothing in it. It happens quite often, so it was surprising to find all of these good things in the boxes today. Box number one, we had the 2007 not intended for circulation coin, and then that really lumpy, weird coin. That it had bumps that shouldn't be there. Box number two had the 2008 and 2004 proof in the NIFC. And then two silver halves as well, a 1964 and a 1968. And then we have the box number three, which was a box of NIFCs. Had uh, the 03, the 04 proof, the 04, another 04, an 09, and two 2012s. And then box four, we struck silver again in there. We had, we had a 2002 and a 2007 NIFC and a 1968 silver. And then, uh, like I said, box five was a, a blank. Uh, the, the one, that one proof is just amazing there. The camera, I'm sure, doesn't do it justice because I'm shooting this in the kitchen and don't have proper lighting right now. The 3D Outdoor Studio is under construction. So hopefully once that's up, we can get some better lighting when we do these. But there you go. That's a very successful hunt. I have three more silvers. And if you recall from my other video, I had three out of that first batch. So I have six towards my goal of ten. Um, I had another uh, little uh, hunt that I did through quarters, which I didn't post any video on because it was kind of boring it was only one find and the whole box of five hundred dollars worth of quarters but it was a silver quarter so uh, we're on our way we're doing real well with silvers this year this is Dan with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer if you like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom